Darn it. Hey guys, um, Sum Reaper here, also known as Notorious Platt, and I've got a Emerald video here. I'm gonna start a Let's Play. This is my first Let's Play, and I uh, intend on maybe later on doing some other Pokemon videos, as far as different series, Fire Red, Leaf Green, something like that. But for now, I'm just gonna stick with this. This will be my only thing I'm working on for now. But anyways. This being the start of my videos, I wanna. I'm probably gonna post another video, maybe an FAQ or something. Maybe just random questions or something. But that'll have to wait. Probably till this LP is done. And clearly, you know, let's put me in the back of the truck, get a concussion. And we go inside. And of course, mom tells me that I need to go fix my clock because I care about time. I go upstairs and I grab the potion always. And the test video it, it was just messed up. I mean it, it worked perfectly fine but anyways I hate setting the clock too because I always forget and then she reminds me five times. And anyways yeah, I'm sorry about saying anyways. It's a habit. I will try and fix that as soon as possible. We go downstairs to our TV addicted mom. And immediately we see that our dad is on TV. Anyways, I decided that I was going to be magical and miss the doorway. Which I do a lot, so. I mean, a forewarning there. Go up to the room, we're getting ready to take that Pokeball. Nope. Rejection. And what I don't like about this is she gets the special GameCube. I mean, I like the orange more, I'm sorry. To anyone, who cares? But I, I like the orange. Go back down. We get to talk to a little girl. And she warns us that there are freaking scary noises. Clearly, we're gonna... He goes out... And why would he not pull out a Pokeball from a satchel right there or pick it up or something? Or already have one on him, which would be way more convenient. He doesn't. Also, I'm sorry about this. I got distracted trying to avoid from doing that. I have kind of a short attention span, so stuff like that. But anyways, I decided to go with Trico because it, I never pick him. I never pick the grass Pokemon. And... I felt like I would. My friend picked Mudkip. And I was having trouble deciding at first, but couldn't leave out Trico. And so I go out. He's kind of special. He's got his little pound attack. I think he's the only Pokemon out of the three starters that has pound. And thankfully, he just sat there and growled, so it, it wasn't too annoying, but it just took that much longer to kill him. Also, I'm going to start to try and cut out videos completely, or at least make sure I hold down fast forward the whole time, because I don't enjoy watching them, and I don't know very many people who enjoy watching them constantly. Battles every 10 seconds. And, anyways, we get to keep our Pokeball. Everyone knows this. We're just the, kid, the cool kid in town. If we can get a Trico right here, I just, I felt random. I felt it was appropriate to sit there and do nothing and then name it Kiko because it rhymes. Who doesn't like rhyming? And anyways, it's a male. I did not notice that or I would have probably named it something else because, I don't know, I was thinking more of a female name. I guess that sucks for um, Kiko. But anyways, going through here, I was at in first attention. Uh, in first intention, I intended on talking to every tra um person, just to see what they say, because I never ever talk to them ever, and so I thought it would just be something random to do. Run to through the text real quick. But anyways, I intend on catching a Pugina. And I will in this video. And anyone that any that cares to read anything that the people say, 
let me know and I'll like slow it down a little bit or something because I mean I guess you could pause it but some of it I go through too fast to even read it at all but we get a little tutorial right here potion he tells us about a pokeball but we get disappointed we get a potion we're not special enough but anyways we go in here and I get to fight a Puchina. Not a Zigzagoon. Which I wanted to catch a Zigzagoon. But I did not. And I do not know why. Because he would have been a really good HM slave. So I guess I'll have to catch one later. But anyways. I don't know why I did it right here. But I decided I guess I'd level up a bit more. And I forgot to kind of cut it. Because... I could have cut, I think it's about three battles that I didn't cut. And the Zigzagoon barks at me. But anyways, I am going to go ahead and let you know I'm not going to be using freaking ability crap. Like, Leer or anything like that. So, probably going to get owned at some point in this game. But anyways, I'm probably going to, and what I'm going to try and do, because I really want to, Sorry about this, new ones. Well, I'm going to try and keep the first six Pokemon I get, no matter what they are. Just, if I want the Pokemon and I catch it, then I'm stuck with it. But I can't promise that because I caught a Pokemon or later on, maybe the second or third video, that I'm going to have trouble training. And hopefully it won't be too troublesome, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw out there that if... I'm gonna try to, but I can't promise it because I'm not. I've never used him before or anything like that, and it just seems like with his effect on himself, it's gonna be difficult to do anything with him, really. But anyways, I don't know why I kept on killing Poke or attacking Pokemon when I didn't really need it. But I decided, I guess, that I'd level up to level 7 before I fought Torchic. And in a second, you're going to see possibly, and hopefully, the biggest fail in this video. But, I mean, who knows. Got a level 7. And right here, I decide I'm going to talk to Mei and battle her. You know, follow the storyline. But wait, she's excited to see me. A Pokemon as a gift and a battle and I fight her well who would know that I mean oh everyone beats May you know easy person heal your Pokemon you run right over there and you beat her well not for me because I am stupid and decided to use absorb because apparently I'm just addicted to it or something and for the love of me, I could not change the pound in time. Because even at my health, I could have beat Torchic. But you know, can't stop using Absorb. So I finally take notice and I'm like, hey, maybe I can beat Torchic. Alright, I'm ready to heal. Critical hit. And Trico, also known as Kiko, is down. And I get to go to back to the Pokemon Center in the first train of battle in the game. How humiliating. But wait, I didn't even go to the center, and so therefore I get to walk all the way back up there. Which I'm sorry about that. I really had no intention of doing that. Also, I'm sorry if I sound monotone. I don't know if I've already mentioned it. But I don't want to. I just, I guess I kind of have a boring voice. I don't know. It depends <laughs> on my sleep that I've gotten. I'm going to try and get a bit more tonight, so maybe I could sound more excited in the videos, because it's never fun to sound bored. And I'm here for y'all's enjoyment, so that anyone that needs a walkthrough might be able to use this one and such. Also, I'll be going in the Pokemon Centers a lot constantly like almost after every battle I'm gonna go ahead and let you know anyways gotta go see you bye